Hi guys, it's Absalom here, and <sighs> I thought this would be easy, but uh, okay. See, uh, truth is, I'm kind of confident, but I'm safely a bit anxious. It does the right word to use. I don't know. I've practiced, but uh, perfectionism doesn't advance anything, ironically. Um, as a creative and as a designer, there's no wrong way to go about the future of your career. The only, the only failure is not to try. Let's, let's do this. Okay, hi guys, it's Absalom here. And in today's video, I'll be talking about why I'm taking YouTube seriously, or why I'll be taking YouTube seriously. I've had this channel for, I don't know, I think a year now. And I've not really been posting any content, just shorts and yeah, basically promoting my work and posting my work stuff as a fashion designer. So I will, I want to be posting, I want to start putting out lengthy videos that are, I see, yeah, that are value packed. If that's the correct word to use. So. Yeah, value pack. Why am going to be taking it too seriously? Aside from the obvious financial benefits, I would love to treat... Because I'll be lying if I said I haven't factored that in. Yeah. So, but I would, like, I would like to treat it as a hobby. I'm not expecting any money. But in the future, but in the future, if I get an audience that actually has known my stuff and YouTube decided... YouTube. YouTube. I said YouTube. YouTube decide to pay me, yeah, why not? Who knows, who knows? But that's not up after right now. So, value, value, value. That's my mantra for this YouTube stuff. I think I have to three to four reasons. So to the main reason why I'll be taking it seriously, it's going to be a great excuse to do the things I like, I love, why sharing with others. So for instance, I can talk about my hobby or share from the little knowledge I've acquired in the fashion industry as a growing designer. Yeah, growing designer, you heard that right. Talking is on my strong suit. As a bonus side effect, I'll probably get only one view. Even though I will still be fulfilling and I'll be totally fine if I Get to help or impact even a single soul out there. Reason number two, I'll get to learn more about what I like, and over time, I'll get to learn more about what you, my audience, like or don't like, and try to make content that speaks to those interests or issues. So it's a win win for us all. Third reason, I get to improve faster where I do because now I'm not just doing it for myself alone, but also to share with you guys. And trust me, I don't do mediocre. I'm not about to start now. Finally, I get to make cool friends from all around the world. It's going to be like a pool of people who are kind of like-minded. So imagine you're trying to embark on a mission. We could easily pull it off in the, from different parts of the world. And I think that translates to a wider reach in terms of impact. I'm not exactly sure about the last part, but I hope you are one of them. Kindly hit the subscription button. And let me know in the comments how I did and what improvements you would like to see in my next video. The next video is going to be titled Fashion Career Success 5 Secrets from Virgil Abu. Fashion, let me, let me repeat that again. Fashion Career Success 5 Secrets from Virgil Abu. So, Virgil Abu is my mentor, who has always been my mentor, although I never met him before. I guess we could all learn from him. So in my next video, I'll be talking about, I'll be revealing five secrets from the Abu that would lead to your fashion career success. So that's that. Also, kindly like this video too. So the YouTube algorithm gets to do its work and spread the news so all the others can tap in. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.